Thank you. Introduce to the stage Ms. Deborah Forge with Cadence Bank. Perfect. All right, it's all you. So they can see it, the people in here can see it. Okay, you so can so scroll with that. And let's see. Make sure. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna pin you. So we can see how you position. Okay, cool. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, it's on you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, I'm always uh, eager to speak to real estate agents and uh, individuals who are looking to make home purchases. Uh, so once again, I am so eager and proud to be a part of um, the invite today and be a part of the team over at um, Brooks and Davis. Let me, I'm going to tell you up front, I am computer challenged, so uh, bear with me. So I want to give you a little uh, background on Cadence. Um, we are a full service lender. Uh, I just happen to be a part of the mortgage uh, department. And so what I will speak to you about today will be mortgage related. And because all of you are aware of the uh, standard products in the market, your Fannie Mae's, your Freddie Mac's, your VF, VA's, USDA, and uh, FHA, uh, we carry those products as well. But in addition to that, Cadence has its own proprietary products. And, I'll, and that's what we'll be talking about today. Uh, we understand at Cadence that not all borrowers are the same. And so in knowing that and working with borrowers over the years, um, Cadence has come up with a suite of products that will fit almost any need of any particular borrower. And so our products uh, that are portfolio products, which are which is our proprietary, is going to be our standard adjustable rate mortgages. Those are ARMS and our fixed rate loans. Uh, within this particular uh, suite of products, we have the professional and premier professional loans, and I'll go through the requirements, eligibility requirements of each of the different portfolio loans. We have the medical professional loan, and I want to stop right here for a moment. Uh, each spring, doing, uh, from the end of February until the end of July, we do what's called a special physician's reduced rate. And so that's going on currently, and uh, it will run into July. Now, last year, we it was so popular that um, we ended the pro program early in May, May 31st of last year. So if you know of any doctors that are wanting to buy a home, by all means, uh, have them to um, give me a call so that we can get that process started. That special rate right now is the daily rate minus 0.375%. And so I will talk a little bit more about that later, but I wanted to make sure that everybody heard that part in case they have to leave early. Um, most of you, if you've been to any HBREA uh, conferences or meetings, you'll know that I talk a lot about, uh, about our right at home loans. Uh, that's one of our signature products. It's uh, one of the most selling products that we have for low to moderate income borrowers. And then of course we have the construction to perm and then the renovation to perm loans uh, in that same uh, suite of products. Uh, the first group that I'll speak about is our standard arms and fixed rate loans. Now typically our rate arm, uh, arm loans, we would not use for a first time home buyer. Uh, because they're not used to making payments, uh, not used to making paying taxes, hazard insurance, and private mortgage insurance, if in fact it applies. But I would not recommend an arm for a first time home buyer, but we do have them. And um, we have the five, six, seven, six, and 10, six arms. Um, and we also have um, fixed rate options as well in this particular uh, product. Um, we have, uh, it's for purchases, 
limited cash out, and then of course, cash out refinances. Just keep in mind that we are in Texas, and of course we do adhere to the state ruling uh, on 506A loans, where we have to um, keep those LTVs at 80% uh, to value. Uh, and the product is for your primary residence and your secondary home. So none of the, the uh, products that we're talking about today uh, will be uh, used for investment property. So that's something totally different. Uh, and then there's no mortgage insurance on this product. Um, the next uh, product that we have is our professional and premier professional loans. And um, our professional and premier professional loans are designed for customers with higher income uh, and in, uh, investable uh, assets or liquidity. So basically what we're talking about when you talk about investable liquidity, those are your assets. They're going to be, uh, they can be cash, they can be stocks and bonds or mutual funds, however you want to term it. But this is money that is, another way of phrasing that is uh, um, reserves. This is money that you have after you paid your down payment and closing costs. These products permit loan um, accounts, uh, uh, loan amounts uh, uh, up to 100% financing. And um, the uh, aspects of the loan cannot exceed the terms of the uh, specified uh, traditional mortgage uh, limits. So you can go up to 100% financing on this these two products as well. Uh, we have the fixed and the arm product. There is no mortgage insurance on this loan either. And of course, you have to keep in mind about the income restrictions and then the liquid assets. Uh, we have a little chart here that separates the two, the, the professional loans from the premier professional. And uh, we have two ways of qualifying you for either of these two products. The one that we use most often, at least the ones that I use most often, I have had to use the Premier Professional before as well, but most often because of the clientele that I have, I use the professional uh, category in this room uh, most often. So the first way to qualify for the okay, professional- Can I stop you real quick? Sure. Because we have a question. Do we want to ask questions now or save them off for later? Uh, why don't we ask them as we go? Okay, so uh, they had a question about a secondary home. Is that like a vacation home or what is that? Yes, that is exactly what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess with the secondary home, it has to be a certain amount of miles away from... Yes, the but I unfortunately, I don't know what the miles is. Okay. Uh, we Most of our loans or all of our loans are written uh, to Fannie Mae. And so whatever Fannie Mae says are, will be what we use here as well. There are some differences in our portfolio product than uh, Fannie Mae because we have we don't have as many restrictions. We have a little latitude because these loans are loans that we're using our money on and we don't sell them. So we service them. We, are, we initiate them, we originate them, and then we service them as well. So we do have, we can stretch some of those Fannie Mae rules from time to time. But on the professional end, um, your income has to be at a minimum of 250000 That investable liquidity that we were talking about has to be uh, at 50000 or greater. And so that doesn't have to be, you know, cash on hand, but it has, it can be in a 401k, it can be in a savings account, it can be a CD, but you do have to have it. And just keep in mind, that's after you pay your closing costs and down payments, if you do any down payments. Uh, uh, let's see, the other way to qualify for this professional loan is that you have investable liquidity of 500,000 or greater. And the maximum loan amount or the LTV uh, on this is going to be seven hundred and fifty thousand. Now, Fannie Mae changed the um, uh, medium uh, loan amount for our area back in October and November of last year. It is still open to us, the lenders at, at Cadence, as to whether or not we're going to increase that 
amount on this product. It hasn't been decided as of yet, but I do know that it's under discussion. So for now, if you were to do a professional loan, the maximum loan amount would be 750,000. And that would be your sales price at 750,000. If it was, I just did one that was like 50,000. No, I'm sorry. It was 10,000 over 600. Uh, 750, 766,000, excuse me, 16,000 over. So they had to come to the table with the difference, but we were able to finance the 750. And then the higher uh, loan amounts with the uh, loan to values uh, being available as we just discussed, that's on the professional loan. If you notice, if you go over to the premier professional, the um, minimum income level is going to be 500,000 and the investable liquidity is going to be 250 or greater. And so you, we do have people who fall into that category, but most often my clientele has been under the professional side. Uh, the investable liquidity on this loan is a million and greater. And the uh, loan uh, amount, the maximum loan amount here is one and a half, one million five hundred thousand. That would be your loan to value or your hundred percent financing on your primary residence. Notice it says primary here and not primary and uh, secondary home. The next product is what I mentioned to you earlier about was the medical professional. And uh, it's good that we're having this meeting today because as of February the 16th, I believe it was of this year, we started our spring, which is something that we do every year, our medical professionals uh, special rate um, endeavor. And that lasts usually from the end of February through the end of July. Last year, we had it, same program, same special rate, However, there was so much demand for it that we met and exceeded our goals by May 31st. And so that was the last day to lock in with that reduced rate on the medical professional program. So if any of you have clients that are doctors, whether they're new doctors, they've been in practice for eight years, they're doing their fellowship. If they are a doctor and they are registered on the uh you know, the National Register site, then they qualify for this particular we loan. We have a question. Okay. They want to know how much debt can someone have to be able to qualify? Now, they said for the loan. I'm going to ask if there's a, which, if there's a which program. Yeah. Okay. Um, type in the chat which specific loan that you're talking to, talking about, and we'll, we'll answer that question. Uh, once they type in here, I'll let you know. Okay. And so this product, the medical professional product, also has up to 100% financing. Now, I talked to you about the medical professional special rate. So that special rate, uh, that program is only for the ARM loan, which is the 7-6 loan. So you would have to go with the seven-year ARM and then the, the, the uh, rate would be fixed for seven years. Cadence doesn't have a prepayment penalty. So if you uh, went, if the rates started going down uh, after you've been in this product for say five years and rates got to the point where it was lower than where you finance on the medical pro professionals with that discounted uh, rate, uh, then you could really refinance before the seven years was up with no pre prepayment penalty at all. You just have to have your refinance cost. And you can pay those out of pocket or you can roll it into the loan amount. But that is a possibility. And we do have fixed and arm uh, rates on this product as well. There is no private mortgage insurance. And that's the key. Uh, last year, we had quite a few um, competitors in this sphere, in this space. And uh, I guess it was probably mid-summer or late August that they uh, came out and we were the only product left for medical professionals because I had colleagues sending them to me. Mm -hmm. But um, it is a very good program. I mean, you can't beat what happens on this product for medical professionals, for our doctors, especially the young ones who uh, have been in law school, just graduate, I mean, med school, just graduated, getting ready to do their residency. They're eligible as well. Mm -hmm. And this is key because I have people ask me about pharmacists, about, um, you know, uh, dentists. Well, this 
Cadence has this product specifically for the people that I'm about to mention. Uh, the medical professional includes the new or established physicians, the medical residents, I just talked about that, those guys that have just graduated from medical school and are getting ready to do their residencies, the medical fellows, uh, the doctorate of orthopedic medicine, doctors of dental surgery, and that's a key uh, because not all dentists qualify for this program. So you have to make sure that they're dental surgeons, doctors of dental medicine and uh, ophthalmology. So these are the categories that fall into the medical professional uh, group of people that can take advantage of this loan. That's amazing. Uh, before you move on, mm -hmm. it was the premier. Premier program. Mm -hmm. So it's like this program is like any other program uh, about the debt. It's going to be the debt to income ratio. So it depends on how much of a house you're trying to buy, mm -hmm. what your income is. And then we, uh, the DTI on this is about 43, mm -hmm. about 40 to 43. So but it, all of that is going to be predicated on uh, how much income you have and then how much debt you have outstanding. Uh, most of my uh, professionals, when you get to this level, when you're making this kind of money, I have not seen them to be uh, debt heavy. Mm -hmm. I, I just haven't. So what she means by that 40% DTI is that the amount of debt that you have cannot exceed 40% of mortgage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you you on that DTI, it is the actual mortgage payment for the property that you're buying mm -hmm. plus all of your outstanding debt. Mm -hmm. And then that that gives you your DTI. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So we just talked about this. It, it just tells you that it's 100% financing uh, fixed loans. We just talked about that whole thing. So we're good there. Most of you, if you've been to any HBRE uh, meetings, you know about our right at homes. This is for our low to moderate income uh, individuals or homes that are in low to moderate income census tracts, either or. Uh, this is, our, if you ask me, in my opinion, this is our signature product. And this product is, we don't, you don't have to be a first time home buyer to use this product, but if you're just getting started, if you just made the decision to become a homeowner, this is an excellent product for you. The first reason being is that it's 100% financing. And what that means to our first time home buyer is that you've been saving your money and you just got 350 $3,500, or maybe you got $5,000, and you're ready to, you looked at your credit and everything is in order, you're ready to buy a house. Well, rather than you having to use that $3,500 to $5,000 for your down payment, you no longer have to do that if you qualify for the right at home program. That 100% financing means if you have find a property that you like, say it's $250,000, this product allows you to finance that entire 250,000. So the 3,500 to 500 that you've been saving now goes strictly to your closing cost. The rates on this program are always fixed. We don't do any variable rates here or no arms. Uh, there is no mortgage insurance. And for the first time home, but really for anybody that's buying a home, any time you get the opportunity to avoid uh, PMI, which is private mortgage insurance, or MIP, which is the um, mortgage insurance uh, for government loans, then by all means do it because you're saving yourself, depending on your loan amount, anywhere between $75 to $200, possibly even $300 a month added to your regular monthly payment. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and you also have on right at homes a reduced uh, fees. So that's a, that's an enhancement for you as a first time home buyer or anybody that uses this program. Uh, and it can be used, right at home can be used for purchases as well as refinances only on your primary residence. So if you're an investor and you've got a property in a low to moderate income area then, and you're wanting to use this program, you can't because you have to, the, the buyer has to reside in the property and you can't own any other properties to use this program. Anybody have a question? Sure. 
Um, the first question is, we have to have two years of work history for this? Yes. The, all of the uh, requirements that it takes to get a mortgage loan, that's two years worth of residency, two years worth of employment history, all of the, just remember two, 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 <laughs> our residence, two years, two years of work history, and two years, two months worth of bank statements. So the program uh, does not negate what Fannie Mae requires for just a regular conventional loan. Mm -hmm. We just have some products that are written to that, but has some leniency, whereas Fannie Mae requires a 3% down payment or a 5% down payment. Cadence has stretched that a little bit, and now we have 100% financing in our low to moderate income census tracts or for low to moderate income borrowers. And you're not having to pay uh, that uh, private mortgage insurance or MIP. What about uh, interest rate? Not interest rate, um, credit score to qualify. Anytime you do business with Cadence, um, we're going to be looking for a um, um, credit score, a FICA score of 640. So, and if you come in, if you come to us with a 20, a 620 FICA score, don't worry about it. We'll take a look at your credit. And most of our lenders can tell you how to raise that 20, 20 points. You have to be patient. It may take you 30, 45 days to do it, but it can be done. Okay. We have uh, Evans. Evans, you want to just start talking, see if we can hear you? Yeah. <clears throat> what is the what what is that um income for what you consider low moderate um buyer? Okay. So if you purchase a property in a low to moderate income census tract, say you want to live in third ward and you found a property that wasn't costing you three hundred thousand, or maybe it does cost you three hundred thousand because we don't have any uh purchase price limits on this product. So uh and there are Get this, no income limits to, to uh, buy in a low to moderate area. Now, if you uh, if your income cannot be, let's say you want to, you are a low to moderate borrower and you wanted to purchase uh, outside of a low to moderate income census tract, then of course you would be limited to an income of 94,100. But if you buy, this is the key, if you buy in a low to moderate income census tract, and we have about 22 to 24 census tracts that are considered low to moderate throughout the uh, Harris County, city of Houston uh, area, then you're not going to be uh, held to a income limit. Jesus. Okay, did that answer your question? Yes, then my next question is, with those... Um, like, like, say you have a client that's struggling to find that those areas. Um, do you assist in any kind of way with? We, we have a map that shows you the uh, census tracts. Uh, unfortunately, the map doesn't give you street addresses. It, it's not that defined. But if your agent is an agent that grew up in Houston or knows the Houston area very well, when we provide you with the map, you'll be able to determine whether your property is in a uh, low to moderate income area or not, or what my agents have been doing with me is providing me with the physical address of the property in question. And then I can easily tell you whether or not it's in a low to moderate income area. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. So about that, um, the, the tool that you use for the, the income, the track. The, um, yes. Because uh, I used to use one with another program. I forgot what it was. Can you use that? Can I use a tool from another program? I think it was NACA. Well, Can as I use that same geo tool. As long as now the government does the census tracts. Okay. So as long as it is considered a low to moderate income census tract on whatever program you use, okay. uh, it's going to be fine. Okay. Because if it's sh showing low to moderate in your program, when I pop in the address, it should show low to moderate for me as well. Okay, awesome. Thank okay, you. Okay, cool. No worries. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, Michelle has her name right. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, how do we? You just call her. Uh, Michelle. 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 Yes. Um, I was writing down what you said that the program offers or requirements, but you said it's it's two-year work history, two-year residence, two months of bank statements. And then you also said it's 100% financing uh, loan, no PMI, and it was one other thing that you mentioned about it. 
and I didn't hear it. Well, it's for um, your primary residence, meaning you the, you, the borrower, have to occupy that space. Now the two, two and two, the three twos, those are just regular requirements of any mortgage company. Mm -hmm. But for this product, uh, it's 100% financing, it's a fixed rate, and it has to be in a low to moderate income uh, census tract. And it has to be your primary residence. Okay, and are the, are the um, clients able to buy down the rate or no? You can buy the rate down. It's just that when you take a look at, on any given day, um, we have posted rates and it doesn't go down very far. So let's just say you're at 7%. The, the uh, bottom rate on the rate sheet on that day may not be uh, any lower than about 6.875%. Okay. okay, so you haven't gone down much in rate, but it may cost you two points to get to that rate. And so then the question that you have to ask yourself, is it worth me paying two points? And two points have to do with percentages of your loan amount to go down, what, an eighth of a point, quarter of a point, somewhere in there. So mm -hmm. you weigh your options when you get to that point. Now, for me, what I say to my clients is that if the seller or if the builder are paying the points, and you want to go down and this is the best program for you, because as you can see, hands down, it beats FHA. Then you get the points from your seller or your builder and use that money for that. Okay. Any more questions? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So you're before last, so we're in 24 now. So the latter part of 2022, we uh, developed a sister product to our right at home. We call it now right at home classic product. And everything is the same with the exception of uh, the emerging communities product. Uh, it has to be in a, and I'm going to go through here, majority minority census tract. You say, well, Ms. Deborah, what is that? What does that mean? And that means is that as long as the census tract that you're looking at has a 50% minority population, you're good to go. Well, what are you calling minority? For us in this line of business, we're referring to Hispanics and African-Americans. So you can have a breakdown of 25% Hispanic, 25% African-American. You can have 40, uh, 10, 30, 20, as long as the total population in that census tract comes to 50, and the, the minorities are Hispanics and African-Americans, then you qualify for this product. And it does have a uh, income limit. It is 200% of the medium uh, area income. So I believe the last time I calculated, it was like 188,200. Uh, so, uh, but if you have any doubts about that, just let me know. Call me and ask me and I'll let you know. Uh, and uh, this product, you the back end on the right at home is about 40. And then with compensating factors, meaning uh, if you've been on your job longer than three years, if your FICA score is higher than the minimum, which is 640, so you come in at 660 or 670, that's a compensating factor. And if you have more than the two months reserve, say you have a 401k, uh, and you're going to be using that as your uh, reserves, and you've got more than um, three months of your PITI, then that's your third compensating factor. You can take your back end ratio, which is your DTI, from 40 to 43. In this product, the uh, right at home emerging communities, you can take it to 45 with those same compensating factors. And it is also 100% financing and the rate there is fixed uh, fixed rate and there's no private mortgage insurance on that. And the, the a dollar amount we're here for your sales price purchase amount would be your conforming loan amount, which is now up to about 766,000 and some change. Oh, there we go. There's that 200% that I was telling you about of the uh, MSA medium family income. And most of the agents know about what that is. It's posted every June, it changes. But those are the uh, 
uh, fixtures for a cadence in these two products. So you're saying this people that make up to 200% of the uh -huh. can qualify for this? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do you, by, do you by chance know what it is for 2024? Uh, I, I just told him, I think it's about 188200 but don't don't quote me on that. Right. Call me and I'll uh, give it to you when I'm that in the sounds, office. I think it sounds about right because I think 100 percent it's like around 90. Okay, yeah, and uh, the um for the right at homes, if you buy outside of an LMI, it's about 94 100. Yeah, yeah. So, Two. especially when you're talking about no down payment and no PMI, that together uh, is a killer winner for you. Cool. Send them my way. I'm serious. I got somebody right now that I knew income was going to price out of MD program. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, I, I look forward to hearing from you. I need so, that flyer. You don't send me the flyer? Uh, well, the flyer doesn't really give you that, but the flyers that we have here today, I believe it does have both of them, the right at home and the emerging markets. Yeah. So this is just a recap, and it gives you a comparison of the two. The uh, right at home, which we call the right at home classic, uh, is our low to moderate income census tract. Income limits, there are none when you're in buying in the low to moderate income census tract. The uh, right at home, the, um, let me see, what does it say? Middle or upper census tract, it's 80% of the MSI. Uh, estimated medium family income in the medium to upper. So that's where your 94, 100 comes into play. And then of course, in the right at home emerging communities, you're gonna be talking about your majority minority census tract. And that's really uh, the key. You wanna make sure that when you've got a borrower and you're look, again looking at houses and you know that they need that 100% financing and no PMI, and they make say $90,000, uh, as their annual income, the first thing you want to do is when you're looking at work properties to show them, look to see if it's in a majority minority census tract. And if you're having some difficulty determining that, then certainly give me a call and we can figure that out together. And there we go with the 80.01% 80, 80 to the 200% MSA. So just so I'm clear, that's this 100% program. Uh, for the emerging markets. But uh, saying, yes. this covers all of them. Mm -hmm. and, and this is just the breakdown of how you can qualify for the 100% financing for both of those circumstances. Both of those products. Okay. Yeah, so, this is the comparison between the two. The right at home is, let me see that flyer you have there. Okay. And I think you. what I'm seeing is the right at home where it goes up to the 200% AMI, it has, it has to be a majority minority census trail. So it's not about medium income. It's about it being a, in that census you, tract. You here. start with the census tract, yes, and then know that you can go up to uh, the 200. This is just the uh, regular 100% uh, financing of right at homes. This community growth is the uh, emerging communities. So let me leave that with you. Did we get did we get that in our packets? No, no. Okay, I thought we did. I'm so sorry. Add this one to it. This is uh, the community. Just know the community one is for the um uh, community uh, emerging markets, which goes up to the two hundred percent. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No question. So the next product that we have in these suite of products for our uh, portfolio uh, is the construction of perm and renovation to perm loans. So uh, this is also one that we offer to, uh, I don't have many first time home buyers doing this, but it is available for uh, our clients who want to do this. If you want to build or if you have a home that you need to do some repairs to major repairs. So uh, it's one qualifying loan and one closing. So you don't have to do one for the construction and then one to close it out for the permanent financing. It's just one. So that within itself lowers your cost. 
Um, let's see, upfront rate locks. You can lock it at the time that you start the construction. Uh, let's see, mm -hmm. variety of loan uh, products to choose from and the flexibility to modify them. Products, one construction to complete. Once construction is completed, mm -hmm. you can you have your choice of products that you can put the loan on at that point. Mm -hmm. And then not everybody in our mortgage company is uh, eligible to originate construction to firm or renovation to firm loans. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a group of people who have been certified to do these loans. Mm -hmm. And so if you were to call me to do one of these, one or the other of these two loans, I'm not certified. Uh, I would pass it on to one of my colleagues who actually specializes in this. This is pretty much all that they do is the construction to perm and construction to renovation loans. But it is available for those individuals who want to do it. Now, for those of you who know teachers, doctor, uh, teachers, firefighters, police officers, and nurses. Can, can, uh, I'm sorry, can I see that last slide one more time, please? The construction? Sure. Yes, a moment to go back. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're done? I'm good. Thank you. Okay, cool. So if you do business with nurses, teachers, firefighters, police officers, uh, let me tell you about teachers. They have to be paid to 12 teachers and they have to be in the classroom. This comes up quite often. They can't be teachers that have gone on to be counselors or principals or whatever. They have to literally be in the classroom. And the way this works is we give them, just for being in those uh, occupations, $500 credit off of their closing costs. And so if you buy into a low to moderate income area uh, and you get the 100% financing, plus you get an additional $500 off your closing costs if you fit any of these categories that we just mentioned. So you get a you know a two uh, prong whammy from the bank where they allow the 100% financing and the $500, $500 credit. So it's for full-time law enforcement, full-time firefighters and full-time school teachers. And you notice they put the K-12, that's very important to remember that. And then, what is it, first responders, that's going to be your um, people who drive the ambulances, whether that AMT, yes. And then um, nurses and active duty military and veterans. So this is really a good program for those individuals. I just did a lady that was a nurse for a school district. And uh, she qualified twice, but she only got one $500, but... She was a nurse and she was also, uh, and she bought in an LMI as well. So she really made out like a bandit. The question on the community heroes, is there an income limit? No, no income limit at all. And no requirement uh, to whether it has to be in an MLI or nothing like that. The only requirement is that your occupation be one of those that we mentioned. And can we turn the fan on? I'm beginning to sweat really, really bad. Sure. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. What is LMI? LMI. It stands as the acronym for low to moderate income. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about a low to moderate income census track, so uh, I know I've had customers say, oh, no, I don't want to do that mm -mm. because they felt as though I was talking about the ghetto. OK, mm -hmm. yes. Perfect. And that's that's not the case. So if you think about third ward, uh, I'll use them as an example, because most people are familiar with third ward and the changes that have gone up on over there and that are still going on over there. Uh, you can't buy dirt in third ward under $300,000, but mm. yet and still third ward is considered a low to moderate income area. Think about the heights. You know, so much transition has happened over the last 10, 15 years in those areas to where the, the census tracts are still considering them low to moderate income, 
but you've had builders come in and they're building million dollar properties. What about the uh, medical center area? Same thing. So it's it. So when your borrowers are looking for 100% financing and they uh, need to use this program because they're short on funds to close, that's the best route to go. And they can and they're not in the ghetto. And you can explain that to them that exact same way that I just explained it to you. Any more questions? But that's really a good question because that when you say low to moderate, that has really turned some heads. Why choose cadence? Well, for one thing, um, we have the niche products, the ones that we've been speaking about today, our portfolio products. And let me see. We recognize that customers have unique needs when looking for home financing. That is why we have created portfolio products tailored to meet their needs. So here's the way I like to explain that. There are three areas that really hinder uh, people of color from buying homes. Mm -hmm. The first one is credit. The next one is uh, not being able to save. And the next one is having enough money for closing costs. So when it comes to credit, uh, uh, Cadence has an inside uh, uh, credit counselor free of charge to our clients. Uh, so that takes care of your credit. Uh, they will work with you for up to two years. Uh, that's the commitment but hopefully you will get that turned around, you know, a lot sooner than two years. But as it relates to the uh, uh, down payment, we've got this suite of 100% products that allows you to get in without having any down payment. And then the third one uh, is that um, we usually, we work with about 13 to 15 different down payment assistance programs, and they're all very different in what they offer and what they require of you. Uh, oftentimes getting money like that is a separate approval because they want you to come to us and get approved first. And then they will uh, secondly approve you based on income, uh, home size, uh, and, se and several other things. So we, there's money out there. You just have to make sure that you qualify for it. And I would ask that you would, in your thinking process, get prepared for mentally, because all of this is going to be predicated on um, your level of dedication to becoming a homeowner. Uh, you, you can't think I'm going to do it today, and then when you get a uh, refund from the IRS, you go shopping. Mm -hmm. You know, that refund from the IRS, no matter how small or large it is, that can be used to get you closer to, to becoming a homeowner. And most of us look for those returns to be able to buy into a house. Uh, production support. Um, we really have a, a, a good back-end uh, support system. Uh, literally, we do. And um, I've been with the company almost three years now. And not one time have I ever picked up the phone with someone in my back office and asked a question or needed them to do something uh, within reason in a rush uh, situation and they not do it. I mean, when you talk about an employer that's family oriented, Caden is. We we make make sense loans, but we don't and we don't do predatory lending. Uh, but we have to, we are good stewards of the community's money. Because when you go to a bank to get a loan, that's what you're doing. You know, we take in deposits and we loan money. So we take care of all of those so so credit issues up front so that we don't have any issues with um, delinquency, which you've fallen short on being able to make your payments. Uh, we have a good processing team and uh, they work well with. Um, our loan officers, people like myself and uh, my assistant, our mortgage loan assistant, uh, we just do a very good job of making sure that we are, are at our best for the people that we serve. Uh, any other questions for me? And this is my contact uh, information. And I've, I've been in banking for a number of years. You see all that gray hair up there. Uh, 
but I've been in a number of different areas, but they've always been client customer oriented, uh, always talking to clients, always making sure that what they need is being taken care of. Uh, I've done uh, mortgage loans. I've done pre foreclosure. I've done uh, loss mitigation. I've done financial planning. I've done, I've sold investment properties. I was a licensed financial advisor, but overall I've done mortgages somewhere in mortgages most of my career. And so uh, there's a reason for that. I, I love working with people. And uh, it's not just about getting you into a home, but it's getting you into a home that is pleasing to you and, and it's sustainable. That's my goal is to make sure you can stay in that home. Purchasing a home is about wealth building, you know, leaving something for your children, legacy. So if you do it right, then you will have something to leave to your children and your grandchildren. Mike, that's all I got oh, for you. Deborah, you killed it. <laughs> you, know, you, you know you killed it. Let me switch. What's your closing? You're trying to get from beginning to end, all of that is predicated on the borrower. Anything that has to fall into place. But literally speaking, on our um, residential loans, we're talking about 30 days. If it's a refinance, it could be as much as 45 days because Cadence prioritizes purchases mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to refinances. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, look, if y'all don't have any other questions, Deborah did an amazing job. So, Deborah, you're going to email us digital copies. Yes. All right. So, Deborah's going to email us digital copies. Um, I need to capture so y'all don't get off just yet. I need to capture everybody that's on here. And if you don't have your name on there, make sure you put your name on, on there. That's how we're going to determine who we need to send the digital copies to. Uh, we, sh we should have everybody's email address already. But if you haven't changed your name, do it. I'm going to do a screenshot of the of the screen so we can get the digital flyers to you. Um, let's see, Deborah, you did an. Are they talking? Are they look at them? They telling you good info, Deborah. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right. Thank so you. they they are they are an appreciative bunch. I'll tell them that. Okay. Um, but no, thank you so much, Deborah. We'll definitely continue with our partnership. Stay connected. Um, and again, don't leave yet. We're going to do a, a screenshot of the computer so we capture everybody's picture and then that'll be it i want a, a quick reminder make sure that if you are make sure that you participate with the community tour that we're doing on saturday it's an amazing opportunity for you to learn about some additional information as well as see some properties that we could utilize deborah's uh, loan products on but still 100 percent financing uh, it, it is in those areas that we've talked about um, I do believe it's, yeah, it's definitely in one of those areas where if a person makes up to 200% that they could qualify. So when you, when in real estate, you want to be able to make those kind of connections, right? So you have a builder, you have a product to sell more of those units. You can partner it with what Deborah has as far as a loan product. And then that'll help you be able to sell more of those units for that builder, as well as uh, allow Deborah to have additional business and y'all have additional business as well ultimately help put more people into homes so again this saturday um you should look at it i mean we've been putting it out there so if you're in the group me you should have the flyers that are in there it kind of gives you an idea of when it starts uh margaret is soliciting for volunteers uh, what time you want your volunteers there margaret 10 o'clock so margaret would like for the volunteers to be there at 10 o'clock uh and it is going to be an amazing an amazing experience. Uh, with that being said, we're going to do a screenshot of the picture and then, I mean, of the screen. And then y'all are y'all are free to go unless y'all have any specific questions for me. I have Deborah. one other thing to mention. For those of you who uh, do listings, if you find that you have a listing that is in a uh, majority minority uh, area, uh, which is eligible for 100% financing or in low to moderate a census tract, we actually have yard signs ah. that we could give you to put in those yards so that your passer buyers can see that there's financing for that particular property, which would require no down payment for them. I love it. 
So uh, just just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to get you one of those yard signs. Well, I have I have a couple of them coming up. Okay. So I know we could definitely utilize that additional draw. Okay. So just reach out to you directly. Yeah. You can shoot me an email or uh, call me whatever your preference is and let me know. And now that I know where you're located, I can bring them to you. You can pick them up at the branch. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, that's good enough for that. Okay. All right, family. We'll talk to you all later. Thank you. See you in the morning. All right. See you. Uh, Zoom. All right. All right. Y'all have a good one, family. <laughs> all right.